Shakazani and welcome back to my channel. Yes, yes, yes. I am back with yet another video this week and as you guys can see by the title, in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my experience as a young traditional healer. So if you guys have watched my previous my my previous video um which I did months back, um it was on how I became a traditional healer. You'd understand how my journey started and everything. So in today, I'll be explaining to you guys my experience and how the journey has been the good and the bad side and i hope you guys will love and enjoy before getting into the video i'd like to remind you guys to please do click on the subscription box give my video a thumbs up and also check me out on my instagram okay so what i've realized ever since i became a traditional healer actually i've realized a whole lot of things like a whole lot of, a whole lot of things have been happening i've been experiencing so so many things the good and the bad so um starting with my journey as i was young um so many people didn't expect that i would take that route because i was uh, i was young at that uh, at that time i was around 15 yeah, I was around 15 at the time. So obviously a typical life of a 15 year old girl, you know, is not to become a traditional healer, is to be doing other things outside of being, you know, a traditional healer and all that. So for me, it, was, it wasn't that difficult because I knew, I didn't know what I was doing, but I think I had an idea of what I was doing. So when I started with the process of Fuktuasa, it was um something that i thought was gonna benefit me and i thought was gonna be good for me and even today i still thank myself for taking on the journey because it has taught me so many things so the first thing that i have experienced um in, in being a traditional healer is criticism yes so we do get a lot of criticism from people especially people that we live around with um people that we know as well because you know obviously everybody has their own belief everybody has their own religion and all that so in this day and age so many people um, try to convince by all means try to convince as like as traditional healers that um, the route that we've taken into being a traditional healer is not a good thing you know it's just demons and bad spirit which is what I have um, experienced as a person I've been told so many times by so many people that were close to me even that what I was doing wasn't right wasn't the purest and wasn't I mean wasn't the purest form of doing things you know instead I should just switch to Christianity and look don't get me wrong i am still a christian today i do attend church i do go to church i still participate in things that has to do with christianity but again i am also on the cultural part like i do participate in everything that is required of me um from my ancestors part so being a traditional healer hasn't changed anything even though people used to say that it was gonna change it hasn't really changed anything and i just think that it comes from you as a person so if you think that it is gonna change you then it is gonna change you but if you think it's not gonna change you then it's not gonna change you criticism is one of the things that comes with being a traditional healer you are gonna meet so many people who are gonna make you try to doubt yourself which brings me to which brings me to my second point of uh, making you doubt yourself at some point um of being a traditional healer i somewhat started doubting myself you know i started asking is it good is what i'm doing the purest form of doing things like you know i started questioning myself and i started asking myself so many questions if i'm in a good place or if i mean if i've chosen the the right way of living and i've learned that i think i've made the right decision in choosing um this form of religion or belief i mean it's the best thing my third experience in being a traditional healer is that um i have been rejected by so many guys yes um that has happened but i haven't taken that too hard but it's what has been happening um a lot of times and it's yeah it's part of the experience so i might meet a guy and then obviously in the process of knowing that person i am going to start opening up about my spirituality and who i am as a person and then for that for so many guys that i've met it was I think difficult for them i'm not gonna judge them and say that they should have accepted me for who i am like i mean it's their choice at the end of the day and i'm not saying that they're bad people but i'm just saying that um yeah that's just what they believed in they didn't really believe in what i believed in and they thought that um dating a traditional healer is different i mean look yes it is different but is not that different you get so I have experienced being rejected by so many guys and yeah, but I'm not sad about it. I feel like everybody, uh, God even up there has put that somebody special 
um, for you who is going to be there for you who's going to love you for who you are and not for how you look or you know what you have and then again uh, and then again one of the reasons why I think I was rejected by so many guys is because of when coming to the intimacy part so for me personally not like other traditional healers me traditionally i do i'm a strong believer of soul ties so i believe that every person that you get into an intimate relationship with you um carry the energy around with you i haven't been i, I haven't um i personally haven't um engaged or interacted in um intimacy yet because i felt like not that i'm not ready but i felt like it's something that is too personal to me so for me in order to like participate in that i have to know the person i have to know what i'm doing and also the person has to understand my belief so i feel like that's one reason that's the other reason why I, um guys always rejected me but yeah i haven't taken that too hard if they rejected me i mean you are messing up like <laughs> i'm just kidding so my fourth experience um which is the most beautiful thing that i've experienced as a traditional healer is the beauty of helping someone guys like ever since i mean getting into this thing of ubungoma is a very beautiful thing it's a very it, it, it's up to you as a person again but for me it has been very very beautiful you know the art of being able to help somebody else who has problems the art of being able to communicate with one's ancestors and the um the the the, the, the beauty of being able to um communicate with other people's um ancestors in order to pass through the message has been a very beautiful um experience for me i mean i have never ever imagined that there's so much beauty into like this thing of traditional healers and bungoma and all that but yeah i've seen that it's a very beautiful thing that i've experienced and i continue um experiencing it every single day you know meeting new people with different problems that needs to be solved and what what is actually satisfying to me is being able to fully fully help somebody and it, I, I become very satisfied when after doing my job somebody comes back to me and say you know go go um, you have actually done a good job for me. This thing and this thing has been fixed. I am fine. What, what, what? And like, you know, that makes me happy and that makes me proud to be the person that I am. The last thing that I have experienced as a traditional healer is um, learning more about tradition, you know, especially about African culture and all that, African tradition and culture and all that. It's a very beautiful thing. I continue learning today. Even um this thing of traditional healers has been established now like it's on televisions like if you go on mojo life you will see that wow this thing is actually here it is alive and it's always been there and it's actually making people more aware of what is going on and who they are you know and it's very very beautiful so if you do watch mojo love guys my favorite shows on mojo love is the close love and um what is that what is it called uh umden umden yeah umden that's my favorite shows that i watch and you know the one reason why i like watching those um shows is because they are very educating you know whenever i watch them i learn something new you might find that there's some things that i don't know i believe that i don't know because i haven't experienced a lot yet and by watching that i'm actually seeing it's oh okay so this is how it works and i just hope that one day or maybe one day if i do have the energy and that time i will actually make a reaction video on one of the episodes on one of the shows that i love to watch on moja lab so yes guys you have come to the end of our video and i hope you guys enjoyed uh, ha, 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 ha. i forgot what i to say <laughs> but it's okay um before you click out of the video please do not forget to click on that subscription box for more Ooh, where did the english go anyway um please do not forget to click on the subscription box give my video a thumbs up and also check me out on my instagram till next time it's a goodbye <laughs>